NASA is reviewing weather forecast ahead of the rescheduled launch of the Hubble Telescope's replacement. The James Webb Space Telescope was set to blast off tomorrow, but that got delayed because of high winds. The launch is now expected to happen Christmas morning. Once that happens, the telescope will travel for about a month to reach its orbit about a million miles above the Earth. So scientists are naturally on the edge of their seats as this large and complicated instrument prepares to blast off. Joining me now is astrophysicist Dr. Paul M. Sutter as we take a deeper look into the James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, this is an infrared telescope. What are its main science goals? Yeah, this is this isn't quite like the Hubble. So the Hubble is famous for those those stunning images and, and Hubble was an optical telescope. It took pictures in the same kind of wavelengths that our eyes are sensitive to. Uh, the James Webb is sensitive to to heat vision, to to infrared light. And this gives it access to things that the Hubble simply can't see. For example, it's going to look inside of nebulae that are forming stars and forming planets as it's happening, where the clouds are so thick that visible light can't penetrate. It's going to look at the light passing through planetary atmospheres. It's going to be an exoplanet hunter searching for life outside the Earth. And it's going to peer back to past 13 billion years of cosmic history to uncover the first stars and galaxies ever to appear in our universe. So this seems like a pretty complex telescope. <laughs> That's one way to put it. There are over a million moving parts on this telescope. And the reason it has to be so complex, it is gigantic. It is over 19 feet across. This is the largest mirror we have ever put into space. And it's so big, it literally can't fit on a rocket. It's wider than any rocket we have. So we have to fold it up in this uh, flower-shaped origami pattern in order to put it in the rocket, and then hopefully it will deploy and we can get some science done. That's pretty amazing stuff here. So why does this uh, replacement telescope need to be sent to a Lagrange point instead of being in Earth's orbit? Right. Uh, it's because this is an infrared telescope. So it's looking for sources of heat in the distant universe, which means any sources of heat in the solar system are going to totally mess up all of our observations. So sources of heat in our solar system include uh, the sun. So the further away from the sun, the better. And then another giant source of heat in our solar system is the Earth itself. So we have to put this instrument far away from the Earth. We have to deploy this giant heat shield on the back of it so that the sun and the earth are always behind the instrument and then the telescope itself will maintain some coolant so it can chill down and it can make those very very delicate observations why, why is it looking for heat specifically uh, it's we're targeting these this infrared band this range of infrared wavelengths uh, because that's what that's what we want to open up in our universe we do have other infrared telescopes and infrared observatories but nothing this big and to get the science goals of studying the first stars and galaxies hunting for exoplanets monitoring stars as they are hatching in their wombs we have to go to infrared so the choice of what kind of light to look at is driven by the science we want to achieve. So how long is it going to take for us to get some data back from this new telescope? Right, so once it launches, it's going to take uh, three to four weeks to reach its position in orbit. Uh, and, and then it's going to unfold its primary mirrors, and it's going to go through a few months of calibration to align everything up, make sure everything's a go. And then about six months from now, that's when the first science observations will begin. Once again, the James Webb Space Telescope, it's set to launch tomorrow, December 24th. Astrophysicist Dr. Paul M. Sutter, thank you so much for breaking this down for us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.